Hello again. As you know, I'm a great fan of chicken and it's really useful to just have a roast chicken sometimes. They come in various sizes and various prices according, you, you buy whatever suits your pocket. But I've got two ways of cooking a roast chicken, so take a look at this and see what you think. The first one involves using a fairly deep oven-proof dish and into the bottom of that I'm going to put an onion that I've already peeled and I'm just going to cut that into um, six pieces, six chunks, drop that into the bottom. And then to that I'm going to add some carrots. I've peeled them already. I know that you don't need to peel them nowadays but there's always somebody who gets one of those little sandy bits that get sort of dug into the skin. So cut, use a bridge and cut these into fairly small pieces because this is going to go in the oven for two hours, but carrots seem to take forever. So chunks of carrot, no bigger than that for goodness sake, because they won't be done. And they all go in the bottom of the dish. enough we use a cabbage, a little Savoy cabbage and I'm going to cut that in half and then I'm going to cut that central core out where the stalk was and then cut this into slices roughly you can see mine's falling apart it doesn't matter and then you sprinkle that into the bottom of your tin as well. And what you're doing is creating a bed of vegetables for your chicken to sit on. And this is going to be enough for four people, so I am going to use this piece as well. On top of that, we put a glass of white wine. And we sit our chicken on it. So, there it is. The next thing we do is use a lemon, and we want half a lemon really. I'll leave that to one side. Cut it into two pieces and pop that inside the chicken. Give it a jolly good sprinkle of olive oil over the top. That will help the skin to be lovely and brown and keep the vegetables moist as well. And then we put some rosemary. A teaspoon of rosemary sprinkled over. And a teaspoon of thyme. That's reminiscent of stuffing flavors. Pepper. salt and that's ready to go in the oven so that's an interesting chicken on a bed of vegetables and it will cook for a couple of hours if you had a much bigger chicken it might take anything up to two and a half hours you've got to make sure that where the leg joins the body that you can absolutely just pull it away and there's certainly nothing like blood or raw meat in there so give it plenty of time so the second way of cooking your roast chicken is simply to put it in the roasting tin, I'm going to have to wash my hand again though, sprinkle it with olive oil, salt and pepper, and that's it. Now this one will be absolutely delicious and you've got all your vegetables apart from your carbs to serve as a meal. If you just roast it like that, you can have it with vegetables um, as a plain roast chicken, but then you can do other things with that as well if you have some left over. So chicken is a really economical um, source of protein actually, and you can get them from anything like three pounds at the moment up to whatever you want to pay. So cheap and cheerful quite honestly. So they're gonna go in the oven now and they're gonna cook for two hours. So these two are going to go in the oven. And I can fit them next to each other because my two tins fit. That 
simply just goes and sits there. With this one, after an hour, take it out and just give those vegetables a bit of a stir, just in case the cabbage begins to get a little bit well done on the top. So, in they go. Timer set for an hour. One hour later. Now, our chickens have both had an hour, so they need to come out and be basted. You can see that that one is a lovely golden colour. If I just tip, you can see that the pink juice has come out. We want to get rid of that and get that to cook in the, the other liquids. And then we can also use it to just spoon over the top and keep it nice and moist. And when it's, this, this one is done, you'll be able to pull the legs away from the body because that's the bit that takes the longest to get cooked and there should be no pink juices and the legs should come away easily. So that's got another 50 to 60 minutes. Our one with the vegetables needs a bit of basting as well because the risk with this one is that the cabbage doesn't stay underneath the liquid and it can get quite brown. So you turn the cabbage over, move things round a bit. There's plenty of liquid. And then also, we can just tip that one a little bit and get those juices to come out. That will increase the liquid, which helps to keep the cabbage submerged. But when it's cooked, the legs should pull away easily. So let's just baste this as well. There's plenty of juice. It's wine, remember, and um, lemon juice from, from the cavity as well as some of the meat juices. There we are, that just will help to keep it moist. It smells lovely. And that will go back in. One hour later. There we are. That's quite a different way to roast a chicken and it gives you your your protein and it gives you your vegetables and all you now need is some roast potatoes or something like that. So I hope you like this one. Have a go and try it. Like, share, subscribe. The other one is cooked and I'm actually going to use that in a later video to show you something else that uses cooked chicken. So there we are. Enjoy. Bye.